Welcome back to Banished and the wonderful fair city in the making of Nutjob Hills. Now, as I've pointed out before, let me go ahead and get the clock moving. That uh, when I first built this place, I made more mistakes than you can shake a stick at. I did more things wrong than. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, in the last few days, I've been re-watching some of my own Banished episodes uh, to kind of catch myself up and remind myself of what I did and when and so on. And it drives me nuts watching them because I did so much stuff that I wouldn't do now. And I do a lot of things differently, and I'm going to be starting on this. We are now beginning Phase 1 of Urban Renewal. And that is going to start right up here. This group of buildings here. Whoops, hang on, pause. Let's see what the trader's got. He has cattle and chickens. I have cattle and chickens. What else do you have? Cattle, chickens, and sheep. I've got those. So you're dismissed. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with this here, like these buildings here. We've got uh, a herbalist, we've got a forester, we have a gatherer. No, that's a wooden house. That's the gatherer. We have a hunting cabin, and we have several houses here. I am going to change that. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to start by building a new gatherer's hut. As a matter of fact, I can extend this road up this way a ways, and that will be the core of it. The idea being, you notice the circle for the gatherer's hut. Let's see if I can get a little bit more straight down. The current gatherer's hut encompasses a lot of this hill over here, and uh, it gets a little bit under the edge of that one. I'm thinking if I move it up here, that's going to encompass a lot more just plain useful land. So I'm going to set this thing right about there, and then I'm going to pause it. And let's get some more road in here to frame this out. And what I'm doing here is I'm using a build idea developed by Pinstar called the Crossroads Build. And I put that road in the wrong place. Alright. It needed to go down here on this side. All right. Okay. Before I go any further, let me check all of my foresters. Let's see, this one is cut and plant. How about this over here? That's plant. Let's turn on cutting. This one is cut and plant. Okay. That one is plant. Let's turn on cutting. Okay, I got another one here. You turn on cutting. There's another one here. You turn on cutting. And this one down here. Switch into cut mode. That one already is cutting. All right, that will help keep our log supply up. Because I'm going to demolish most of this, actually all of this old one. And let's see. Mark for removal. All of it. Okay. And give our laborers a little and builders a little something to do. Now we've got our gatherer here. And below that we need to have a new forester. And we're going 
to put a woodcutter here. And I removed this. What the heck? stockpile here people dying of old age without permission how rude can they possibly be okay storage barn there I'll leave the storage barn and the stockpile unpaused they can go ahead and get started on that let me jump my builders up there. And we'll jump up to 5x. It can get started on that stuff. Okay, so we've got the gatherer's hut. We've got the forester. We've got our woodcutter. We need a new hunting cabin here. Okay, and then housing. Go ahead with the stone, of course. Let me go ahead and pause this so I can plant these houses and then pause them. And I'm going to plant six houses here. And pause all of them. Okay, so gatherer, forester, hunter, woodcutter, stockpile in a barn, and six houses. And that will be the center of the first of the new, of the first of several new forest hubs. Okay, let's go ahead and get things moving. Go up to 10x. We've got places that need to be torn down. Other stuff needs to be built. All right. Gatherer. Unpause that. And one house. More people dying of old age without permission. We're really going to have to talk to somebody about that. gatherer going because our food is taking a hit we need to get the gatherer operational ASAP logs and so on is doing okay okay pause no yeah logs are doing okay because I turned all those foresters on to cutting Gatherer is almost done. Pause. Okay. Four gatherers on. Okay. That's good. Okay, now we finish up this house. And then we build another house before doing anything else. That one has its materials. Unpause this one so that they can start bringing stuff in. Take most of these people off builder since we don't need that many at once. Uh, 
All right, people, let's get a move on. This will progress faster as I get houses built because there'll be people living in the area. All right, then pause that house. Yeah, 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 you died of old age. That's what you get for being born old. Me, I was born young. I don't intend to die of old age. Or any other cause for that matter. It doesn't sound like any fun, so I'm not going to do it. Add a little bit of road out here. Barn is full. Or done. Okay, that house is... We'll get this house ready to go. As soon as this one has its raw materials, we'll start this one going. And then we'll have more and more people living in the vicinity to do the construction. Come on. Whoa, we have a trader. Pause, okay. Alright, you have logs and stone. Uh, sure. 800 logs and 200 stone. Uh, 785 firewood, take care of that. There's not enough space. All right, fine. We'll back this down. Do that trade. How much we got? Oh, yeah, it's full. Okay. So, let's run the clock a little bit. Let them pull some of that stuff out of there. And I still want the 200 stone. Miss the guy. Close that. Let's get back over here. Get moving. We have a food problem here. It's coming. No, it doesn't seem to be doing. It's bouncing back and forth. So the next professional thing I do here is going to be the hunting cabin. As soon as this house finishes, we'll go ahead and go straight to the hunting cabin. So even if the hunter has to walk a ways to get here at first, that will be fine. People dying of old age. Stone house is building, we'll start the hunting cabin getting cleared and stuff gathered. Okay. And as soon as the this hunting cabin has all of its raw materials will unpause another house. Wow. Rapid fire dying of old age. Okay, unpause the house. Fortunately, I have lots of laborers to soak all this up. Yeah, 
This is going to work. We're getting away with this. And it's going to result in a much more effective uh, forest hub in terms of supplying wood, food, so on. Okay. Let's get uh, two, three hunters on. And that one has most... Okay, let's see. When it has its raw materials... Come on. You just need somebody to cart it from here over to there. Okay, is this, this one going? Storage for logs, stone, and iron is near capacity. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm trying to use it as fast as I can. This one is building, that one is building, unpause the woodcutter. Oh, yay, yay. I like the fact that there's apparently enough population to, uh... Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing here? I got 32 out of 28. Let's check the rest of these. Okay. That's more like it. Alright. Okay. Get things going. Get this woodcutter operational. Gonna go ahead and then unpause Forester and both of these last two houses. Put some more builders on and get it done quickly. We have 52 laborers available. So, okay, pause, trader. What do you got? You're a food merchant. Well, how about that? It just so happens I could use some food. What's our inventory like? Yeah, okay, we got room to buy a lot. Let's see. I'm going to plug in 2,500 firewood. Woodcutters will love me for that. And 100 steel tools. We have them to spare. And all of the available ale. Alright, so let's just, let's just go down the list here, get 2,000 wheat, 2,000, not 200, oh, 4,000 chestnuts. Two thousand onion, two thousand peppers, and twenty eight peaches. Trade. Okay, I'm not going to order, I'm just going to send him on his way. And our trader guy and marketer people will get this stuff dis distributed. That will give our food a good boost. Get our food supply built. Okay, let's pop on a woodcutter. And I'm going to up the fuel limit. 10,000. So 
storage for logs, stone, and iron is near capacity. Isn't that great? Okay, get the Forester on and get uh, four guys on that. Since we're doing so good with logs, I'm going to set him to plant only. To thicken this area up and clear out the stone and iron here. Because foresters do, albeit slowly, gather up stone and iron that's in their radius. Dropping it in the nearest stockpile, which I happen to have one right there. Okay, let's get our foresters maxed. And you are plant only for the time being. Okay, finish up the last house and this node is finished. Alright. And with it set to plant only, all this stuff will... This area here will end up being thickened up quite nicely. And that means that this forester from way back, we don't need it anymore. Tearing that down. And this huge stockpile I put in is full. This original one here is full. These guys are full. This one is about half full, so we got lots of stone logs and iron. This is going to be great. Let's see. I do believe the plums are sufficiently in action. I probably should have set them to brewing plum ale some time ago, but I've been distracted by this whole urban renewal thing. Okay. I would have rebuilt this hub as well. It's a little better than the other, but it's just got the three buildings. It doesn't have any houses right immediately close by, and that makes it not good. See, this one is gatherer, hunter, and forester. Pause, and we have nomads. Oh boy, what are we going to do with 57 more people? Oh boy. That's gonna be a something or other. <laughs> okay, right. I'm gonna take a few minutes thought and, and I'm thinking that while it would be cool to have these additional people working, I've already got fifty six laborers that I don't have anything to do with, nine builders that are currently unassigned. So, and the main thing is the amount of stored foods. Is it hovering around a little over 9,000? Yes, it's over 9,000. Anyway, uh, I'm going to deny these folks. They can uh, trip down the road. I seem to recall there used to be a town down the river somewhere called Lower Grumpkin. That they're always looking for new sacrifice, I mean uh, laborers, so... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. They can go there. All right. Let's get this thing back in action. This hub is complete. And at this point, within the circle of influence defined by the forester, nothing further will be built. This place is complete. I won't be building anything else inside of that circle. All right. Now... Uh, I think this one's next. This one has some good things to it. There's a herbalist, there's a hunter, there's a forester, there's no gatherer up here. And uh, frankly, I've managed to build into it with these orchards, which is not good. Oh, there is a gatherer. There's no herbalist. Okay, that's fine. And so... As before, we're going to uh, get out the gatherer, use that as a foundation for building a new place. The only problem is, is this hill here is eating up a lot of the terrain. Uh, 
if I come over here, I'm just going to get river and lake and more hills in the way. Actually, it looks like uh, I can probably do okay. There's this hill to consider, but if I move it back here, it takes the gatherer's position, its influence, just outside of where those orchards are. And so that's where I'm going to start up fresh in this area. Let's pause it. Get out the demolition tool. Have all that stripped down. That means we've got gatherers we need to take off. There's extra foresters there. We'll be fixing that soon. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these people in the mines just to give them something to do. Keep them out of my hair. All right. Speed things up a bit. Get these things taken down. Whoops, we have a traitor. You are delivering logs and stone. Okay. 600 logs. 400 stone. I need 4,400 units. Oh, we'll put all 34 ale in there. 2,282 firewood. Overpaying. Okay. Drop a thousand off the firewood, still overpaying. An additional hundred and twenty eight thousand thirty two makes it even. Good. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to up my firewood that I'm keeping in here to 4,000. All right. Now let's get back over where I was. Get things moving again. People dying of old age again. I really would like to know who authorized that. Okay. Not ideal. But it's not encroaching on the uh, orchards here. Not that these orchards are always going to be in this location. They are going to be moved. Okay. Ah, oh, wait a minute. If I have the gatherer there, the forester would end up going here. I'm wondering here, maybe I should change what I'm thinking a little bit, and instead of putting this up here, clear it out and make it farm country. That might just be a winning idea. Let's try that. Cancel that building. put in some crop fields.
extend our road up here, up here. I do for crop field size here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 14 by 4. That's what it was. I was thinking 7 by 14. That's wrong. 14 by 4. Okay. Okay, that's, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make it eight for a nice even number. All right. Now we're going to need, for eight crop fields, we're going to need four houses. storage barns all right all right let's get things moving get them on this box get our builders up 24 builders ought to get this in pretty quick order oh yeah. Let's put in some more stockpile space so that they have place to put all that. All that stuff they're going to cut and clear. Ay, ay, ay. nice how fast a large team of people can do something. Alright, now, these farms. I'm going to start at the top of my list and work my way down here. So this one is potatoes. This one is beans. And wheat peppers, corn, squash, cabbage, and this last one can go back to potatoes. Now that means I need more farmers. Let's get things moving again. This will alleviate the food problem we were starting to have a long while ago. While they're doing that, I'm going to plot some more roadway over here. Because there will be more farms over here. 
and probably more over here as well. This area is going to pretty much be the bread basket. Died of old age. What do you want? A metal or a chest to pin it on? Alright, this is going to be better. Doing very good here, I think. The beginning of sweeping changes. Let's see. This forester is on plant only. He seems to be getting some stuff done. I send a crew in there to explicitly clear out stone and iron, but I'm having trouble putting it all away now as it is, so let him do it at his own pace. Okay. Doing better. Just let it cruise just a little bit. I love the fact that there's enough people as laborers to soak all these dying up without any problem at all. We're maintaining a steady 4,000 logs, 4,200 firewood, 11,000 food. These farms start yielding crops that will improve. What's your matter? Oh, you're a herbalist without a job. Okay. Uh... Herbalist. Where is Herbalist? Here we go. Ah, uh, we do need to get a Herbalist built. We have no medicines. Alright. see. Where shall we go for the next expansion? This sort of looks good, but awful lot of, you know, there's three different places, plenty of places here where the mountains kind of encroach. Let's see. What looks like a good place to grow into? Hmm. This is a possibility. Resource production, food production, gatherer. Eh, not thrilled about that. Well, this is another area where there needs to be sweeping changes. As you see where this one is, actually this one's not bad, it just needs to be completely rebuilt. Let's see, we've got here a gatherer. Forester, barn, hunter, and assorted stuff, but, hmm. I'm thinking that in this area, for this hub right here, the gatherer should have been placed where the forester is, and the forester back here. Yes. And again, more stuff that's going to need to be demolished. See how our farmers are going, get things moving, yes. Okay, we've got early spring with a cold snap here. They're out here planting. Excellent. fields. More 14 by 4s.
Let's get a straight down view here. Okay, and again, four more houses and a couple of barns. and another barn which it's not going to let me place there all right bump our builders up to 24 and let's Get them cracking. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. So, Urban Renewal Phase 1 is uh, this hub here, which we are nicely staying clear of. And now we've got lot of farming action going on. I'm going to wait until they're all ready to assign. Go down the list again. Okay. This farming block is going to be very productive, I think. Food supply is taking a hit every time somebody moves into a new house, but when we get these farmers assigned, whoa! We pause, we have an infestation. Let's go forward in time here. I don't... S ah, I see it. Okay, this is a potato field. Harvest it right now. Dig that sucker up. Oh, what? I hit the wrong... I hit one of my camera buttons. Harvest that field. Get as much as you can out of it. We'll plant something else there. Probably beans. One of the reasons I'm building all this farm activity up here is I want to tear these out and redo them. We'll pause. We have a trader. Be a food seller. Apple seeds. I have apples. Go away. All right, let's start assigning these guys. Why are you not finished? All right, this one. Now here I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to rotate by one position. So this one's going to be beans. This one will be uh, wheat. This one, peppers. Corn, squash, cabbage. Since cabbage is the end of the list, we'll go back up to the top for potato. And this one will be beans. The same list as here, only it's rotated by one slot so that no crop is immediately adjacent to another field of the same crop. All right. We need 
to bring our farmers up to 65. Get busy, boys. Meanwhile, down here, this field is still being harvested. And some bunch of people are going to be the lucky ones that get to eat uh, infested potatoes. Personally, I'm not looking forward to the idea of infested potato soup. But then again, I don't have to eat it. <laughs> All right, let's clear it up. Okay, let's change this to beans. There. Beans are one of the best yielding crops anyway. And why in the world did I put a, a hospital here? Even though I did it recently probably not the best place. All right. I think it's time well not quite yet. I'm gonna wait until a trader shows up that has food. And let's take these people off that don't have jobs. And that's part of why our food supply is down, because a bunch of those hunters have not yet been replaced. So we'll be getting on that. As a matter of fact, I wonder, can I increase the max on the hunters? I can, so we'll have each currently functioning hunting operation go with a max of four workers instead of three. That will help offset. I think that was the only hunting operations. Well, that'll be changing. As Nut Job Hills continues its growth. A new bread basket is in operation. Next spring, all of these fields will plant. And then, at some point, I want to get some stuff going on over here. And, uh, see, this looks like a good spot for some stuff going on. We're going to have a lot of growth going on here really soon I think. I want to get some stuff going on here on this lake. This is going to be a prime, like this right here. That is a prime spot for fishing. And uh, believe it or not, I have seen in other folks games where traders can navigate up these little tributaries from the main river and get into that lake. So this lake is going to house trading posts. Plural. Several of them. The river's not wide enough. This little creeklet or whatever is not wide enough to put a trading post on. But that doesn't mean the trader can't navigate that river. And I'm certain they can. Certain enough to build a trading post on this lake and prove it. As a matter of fact, just for gits and shiggles, I'm going to close this episode out by extend this road out to here. And where's our trading post? No, trading post. Rotate it. There's that road. There it is. Extend the road. 
up to the new trading post location. While here, set up a stockpile. Good old 6x6 stockpile. Put in a house for the trader. Alright. And in our next episode, we'll find out if this trading post is going to get any business. If it doesn't, I can tear it down and do something else there. But I'm kind of betting that it will have traders arriving at it. And we'll find out next episode. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.